Jasper, we good. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. You know, I want to say I'm really proud of uh, my seniors uh, for how hard they played. Um, unfortunately, you know, when you, you turn the ball over a lot in the game, which uh, their pressure and, and the way Alabama State played aggressively really, really affected us, uh, especially in the second half. Uh, it, it, it really bothered us. Um, and then the fact that we didn't match their intensity and go to another level uh, in terms of when they turned it up. I mean, you can look at how there's a big disparity between the free throws of how they got to the line 45 times and we went 17 times. Uh, the aggressive team pretty much won that game. But I want to say that, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our team because we, we have struggled this, this season. And I thought the way we played tonight uh, – should have been the team we played throughout the course of the year. And I think if we would have played that way, um, our record would have looked a little bit different. But I want to thank the young ladies that are sitting to my right and left for all their service here at Alabama A&M. And I want to remind them uh, of the history. And I know we've uh, been a member. It's been 19 years or 17 years, excuse me. And um, it's only four times that Alabama A&M has made it out of the four, uh, first round. So when you're, when you're trying to build and change culture, you're looking for positive things to end on. Coach, talk about that. You know, that's, that's one that you've mentioned that before, about building a culture, you know, changing things, moving forward, and leaving it, and seniors being able to leave, leave a legacy in the program in a, in a better place than it was when they got there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's where you're working at when, when you're at uh, programs like this. Changing culture takes a long time. Um, every day and every year, you're just trying to find the right pieces to fit it, to uh, uh, want to make that change. And I, I, I feel like, w w you know, let's erase what we did in, non uh, excuse me, in our conference play and non-conference and talk about uh, tournament time. I think now we're starting to understand what tournament being ready is about, uh, taking care of business that first game. Now we got to look forward to the next thing, and we can't take it for granted first round, but we got to figure out how we can get past the second round. Uh, we've been fortunate in the last, uh, my three years here, two out of the three times we've been able to get out of that first round. We got to just keep building, keep building, keep building. And and understanding the history. At times, we don't talk to our student athletes about that, but they need to hear that and understand that. The last two minutes of the game, you know, well, actually, the last three, you're, you're in a situation where, you know, you, you look at the positives, and you look at you, and you win some things, you call timeouts. And like you mentioned, the turnovers in the world, you're trying to eliminate those. Chemistry is something that you go up in your head before a timeout, before a timeout, when well, you call a timeout, right? And then you put the players back out on the floor. The chemistry that you're looking for is, is what's looking to, is trying to get some positive about it. Yeah, I mean, what, when, when, how many times have we, we, we've talked about chemistry being very important, guys? Like, I mean, it's, it's huge. Um, um, we've been in situations where we've been able to uh, capitalize off when we, we caught Tom Oz advance and got out there and execute. The ball just didn't bounce our way today. Um, but you can't take away what my kids did in the first half. Uh, third half, third, third quarter, excuse me, was a little shaky in the fourth quarter. It started at fourth quarter. But for the most part, they play what, to the expectations that I thought they could play this season to, for this, when you look at this whole game. So you want the players. Let's talk about what it's been like, you know, getting making getting to the tournament and then playing finishing out the season. Hopefully you were trying to at least finish on a positive note, but today been the last last game. What's it been like for you all this play? It's been a great ride being at AM and playing under Coach Randall. Like she she pushes us to the limit. She pushes us to what she expects us expects us to be. And that's just that's that's a good feeling when somebody keep pushing you to the to where she know you can be. She see she seen better in us than we did in ourselves, and that's a great thing. 
that helped us out as a team in general. Do you think even though you had a bunch of turnovers, you're still in the game and you helped their run, you got it down to three points. You think like in those last few minutes that the girls may have just tuckered out? A little bit. Um, uh, ball didn't bounce our way. Like a couple of shots we needed to get in. Um, it didn't happen. I, I, give, give credit to uh, Brittany uh, Wright. Man, uh, her motor is what what kept them so every time we 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 made a run back at them it would be her to step up and we we at times just didn't have that answer but from for my kids it, it it was just one of those things the ball didn't bounce the way we needed to bounce it bounced that way the other night it just didn't do it tonight Jane, you talk about uh this being an a m record in the tournament you guys were 10 or 14 three-point range and you shot the ball really well from from beyond the arc as well. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of soft spoken, <laughs> reserved. Any thoughts on your play at all tonight? I think uh, I could have did better, you know, limit my turnovers, but I'm okay with my performance. Could have been better, not my best, but. I'll say this. She had she had a hard task. You know, we put her on, on Brittany, and uh, for her to be able to go out and score 18 points, 11, uh, get, grab 11 rebounds for this basketball team, and, and turn around and play that kid who, who is going to move constantly, she had a heck of a game. It, it just, you know, just wasn't our night tonight.
with a statement? Yes, uh, this game, when, uh, when uh, Alabama a and won the game, I knew it was going to be a hard-fought uh, game. You're talking about a team trying to beat team, a, a team that you've uh, beaten twice in a regular season. And on top of that, you're talking about your arch rival. So uh, it was a tough game. It was a tough game. I knew they was going to come out fighting. I thought that um, they did a great job. And I knew that uh, they've been playing some good ball, although they've been – they lost two or three games down the stretch in regular season. They scored, they were scoring a lot of points, so I was really concerned with our Alpha Forest defensively, and they ended up scoring 72 points. And I was telling my young ladies, uh, we're not the type of team that can get up 80 some points a night, so we got to do a much better job on the defensive end. Turned them over 29 times tonight. Uh, your thoughts on how you guys play defensively? Yes, uh, first half we played a man to man and we didn't guard. And uh, I knew that uh, we needed to uh, keep them out of the half court setting. Uh, I think they were four for five at the halftime. They shot the three ball. So we wanted to uh, speed them up some so they wouldn't, able, wouldn't be able to, um, to score the ball in half court. And I thought that proved to be effective. So I thought that was a really good job. And then we also went to our 23 defense, which is a 2 3 zone. Uh, we tried to close out the middle because it was getting in the lane, kicking the ball out or whatever to the three-point uh, shooter. So I thought we did a really good job. We did enough uh, to win the game as far as on the defensive end. Coach, last three, four minutes of this game, a lot of back and forth. Um, what was going through your mind uh, when, when, when it, it wasn't a balance of, of attempting to get what you wanted out of it, not just – positive, but moving forward, and guys and players understanding their roles, possession, value in the ball. Yes, and that's something that I preach to the uh, girls. Uh, today, we did a really good job. We only had uh, 11 uh, turnovers, and our goal was to have 12 and under, but the turnovers that we did make, they were crucial. They scored off, so we cannot afford uh, to do that. I thought we did a really good job selling in, getting the ball into our horses. Uh, Brittany Wright, which had 25 points, and Jasmine People had a double-double with 20 points and I think 10 or 12 rebounds. And um, so anytime we can get the ball inside uh, and, and these young ladies can score, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. But the thing that I'm not pleased with, uh, although we turned them over 29 times, we had to turn them over 29 times. We still only beating them by uh, 15 points because they was in the game all the way to the end. But towards the end of the game, they had to foul or whatever. And, we, and uh, um, Danya Edwards, she stepped up and made a free throw. So we, we, we got to get back to the basics. They got to understand that you got to play solid and fundamental basketball to repeat and win a, a championship because every team is going to really be coming after you. They're going to have their A game when they come and uh, play us. Brittany, the, the same question to you. What was going through your mind those last four minutes? Uh, <clears throat> it was kind of crazy for me, but I knew that we needed to get multiple stops on the defensive end. So that was the main thing that was on my mind. If we get multiple stop, get, you know, play great defense, then we'll finish the game strong. Now you got 20 points, which is something usually you do. Um, and it was just like a, a whole team effort. What was your thought? What was what was your main motivation? Uh, winning, leading, <laughs> winning, leading the team to a victory was my main motivation, and I just you know took that and wanted to play extremely hard and make sure I'm in the right spot at the right time, catching passes and trying to go up strong and stuff. So, you know, getting this victory and help leading the team was my main motivation. Any more questions? Do you think each time that you got up by eight or ten and they kept coming back that, hey, we can't get rid of these girls. They got down to three with a couple of minutes to go. Did you ever think that we, we, we can't put them away? Uh, yes, because once we had our foot on their throat, uh, we ended up turning the ball over. And, and when, anytime it's a rivalry type of situation, you're going to have that. The team is not going to give up. They're going to go back and forth or what have you. And uh, we had a couple of uh, miscues. 
And once we settled in with the folks that we felt with our uh, seniors, uh, Ashanti Spencer and Darrell Sampson, I thought they did a really good job of controlling the tempo when we needed them to, making the right plays or what have you. So um, it was a, a nail biter. The score doesn't indicate uh, exactly how the game actually uh, went down. See, people are going to look at the score and say, we beat them pretty good, but that was not the case if you was actually watching the game.